Kim.net. My name is Carol. My name is Aaron. And today we're going to show you how we made Athena's chest plate. Just out UVA of foam that he formed. And, and backpack straps. What? Oh, and it's painted too. You know it With yeah. paint, acrylic, and spray. So, enjoy. We don't discriminate. We include all paint. So, for any of our builds, the first thing that we do is we load up image J, load in a picture of Athena, and then a picture of Aaron, and then do the proportional uh, dimensions of the whatever piece we're building. Uh, for the breastplate, it's pretty easy. Uh, we decided to do it in two pieces because there's a part that's curved around her chest, and then there's a bottom part that's basically perpendicular to the ground. We wanted to make sure that we got a nice, good seam on that, so we did it in two pieces. Um, this first piece that you see that we're cutting out of newspaper here is the top part of the breastplate, and we're basically cutting out the neck and the arms, and just Aaron sitting over there, and we're pressing it up against her to see if it's good. Uh, the arms, we cut about an inch under her arm to try to make it comfortable, but we found out after actually making the breastplate that we had to cut it down an additional inch. That'd be two inches under the arm to make sure that when she reached forward, the breastplate didn't come off of her chest. Yeah, you want to make sure that it cuts in far enough that you don't lose your range of motion when you reach forward. Um, I know when I'm just wearing the breastplate, it looks like it's cut in really far, but once you put on the vest over the top, you don't end up seeing that part. Yeah, so obviously we cut this out of EVA foam. Uh, that's a two foot by two foot piece and just cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. Uh, after cutting it out, we do a heat treatment on it. Uh, well, we heat form it, I mean, uh, by putting it in the oven at about 215 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, put it in there for about five minutes and then to form it, we took Aaron, shoved her up against a wall and then shoved the hot foam against her uh, to form it into the piece you see there. Uh, we had to make some reliefs on the bottom so that we could get a good curvature out of it. Here you see the bottom piece of the foam being cut out. Uh, this again we put in the oven and heat formed it uh, around Aaron as well while she was wearing the breastplate so we can make sure that it was uh, the right um, size. So once we got that and got it heat formed, we went ahead and glued it together. Again, hot glue is a really good thing to connect two pieces of foam. Um, once we connected them, I took Bondo and filled it in to the crack so that we had a nice smooth piece. Um, once the Bondo dried, we went ahead and sanded it out, and then I started adding details on it. Um, there's a little nub right in the center on the top which I just cut out of EVA foam and glued it onto the top. And then there are also some concentric rectangles towards the bottom, which I cut a pattern out and then just traced them on with a pencil. And then I went ahead and took a Dremel and carved them out. Yeah, for any of the like lightweight um, details like that, it's easier just to Dremel them out and it will work a lot better. Uh, you can take like foam and cut off corners of it and glue it onto there, but it's really easy to snap off. And generally, it's only a good idea if you're going to coat it in something like Warbla or some other uh, thermoplastic to make sure that it's going to be sturdy. I just used an engraving tip on my Dremel on a low speed, and it goes right through the foam. It's really easy to keep it at an even, um, an even depth as long as you're doing it at a very low speed. You won't puncture through it. And then, of course, we uh, epoxy resined it, um, and then we spray painted it with raspberry spray paint. Yes, we did that outside. We don't have that on camera, but then you see me here just going through with acrylic paint, um, filling in all the black lines and a lot of the weather details that you see on Athena. Hey, thanks for watching again. This is Skim.net. And this was the breastplate tutorial, as you can clear. Or... It is not bulletproof. If you like what you saw here, just subscribe below. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. We can get back to those as soon as we can. Also, you can go to the skim.net and make comments on there, which will get back to even faster. And it has all of our tutorials, pictures, and everything like that on there. Um, also, you can follow us or like us on all of the social networks. It's just the skim.net. That's dot as in D-O-T, net. Uh, and you can find all of our latest cosplay builds that way. All right. So, again, thanks for watching.